Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about lambda functions or you can also call them as anonymous functions. So before understanding lambda functions or anonymous functions, uh, we should understand how a normal function in Python is written. So this is how a normal function is written. So it is, uh, it is written with this keyword def def and whatever the function name is, it will be uh, it will be preceded by the function name and then the arguments will be written in bracket and then there will be a colon and then return whatever you want to return that will be the return value for the function this is how a normal function in python is written but what does lambda lambda do is lambda will make this entire function be written in one single line as you can see it's it's quite uh, time consuming like you 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 write the function name then argument and then you write return and then you also have to call it once but in lambda functions it's it's very basic the syntax is you just have to write lambda and then whatever your arguments are you have to write those arguments then the colon and then whatever expression basically whatever you want to return so basically we we skip skip the word def we skip return so basically uh, this is an example of lambda functions lambda we'll write the word lambda and then x means whatever the argument is and then colon whatever you want to return so the the pro the the pro for this function basically the advantage of using lambda functions is that that you can uh, whenever you want to use a particular function only once okay uh, why why should you create a function for it when you have to use it only once it's better you just use the lambda so it is good when you want a function that you will use just one time but the, uh, the dis disadvantage is that they can only perform one expression it is not possible to have multiple independent operations in one lambda function so for example this is your function and there are like few other lines in between and then you're returning all that cannot be done in lambda in lambda only one one expression if there's only one expression then only you can use lambda functions okay so i'll show you all an example so for example uh whatever you want to give the name to lambda function t then I will write lambda, then whatever is your argument, say x, okay, then colon, say I want to return x into x into sorry, x into x into x. So this is our, uh, now if I want to call this, I will simply write t into 3. So this will return 3 into 3 into 3, which is 27. Now one more example is say t2 is equal to lambda okay it can have as many arguments you want to give okay say a b c these are three arguments which you want to send the the arguments which you will send in in a function and it will return a plus b plus c or whatever you want to return into 10 or whatever and that's your lambda the same thing if you wanted to write in a function it would have been something like this t uh, d f def uh, so let's give it some name d3 and you will give argument a comma b comma c colon and then you return then you return a plus b plus c into into 10 sorry uh, i wrote b two two times in argument as you can see over here so that's an error a comma b comma c colon return a plus b plus c into 10 